now that we've been on this cruise, we can see, yes, the plastic is here. There is, is plastic here in the middle of the North Pacific Gyre. Um, but yet we can't say what's happening to the organisms yet. So what I'm really interested in is the adverse effects to marine life. And so that's where the ecotoxicology comes in and what I'm studying is the persistent organic pollutants. And yes, they're leaching onto this plastic, but are they going from plastic to organism upon ingestion? And that's the answer I really, or the question I really want to be able to answer. So in, in hearing the rumors about the plastic in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, I, I believe them to be true. But coming out here, I don't think you fully understand the size of the ocean until you're here and see how huge it is. And to be able to see the amount of plastic that you see, knowing that the ocean is so big and seeing this is the effect we can have, um, was really hit home on what this issue is really about. It made the reality, or it made it seem more like a reality. We've known this is an issue, plastic in the ocean, obviously litter is not necessarily a good thing. Um, but to be able to see it firsthand, you know, made it seem real and made me think, okay, this is even more important than I thought, and I really want to be able to understand this issue even better. Um, I would say, on a personal level, um, this is a topic I've been really interested in. You don't spend six years of your life studying something for a PhD for something that doesn't interest you. And so to see it emotionally, um, was also really interesting. I rem we were standing up on the bridge one night and we're trying to quantify the plastic and we're trying to count the small pieces as they go by. And it became so overwhelming, you literally could no longer count. And basically, we just like sunk to the floor and we're like, and we're wondering, what do we do? We didn't know that it would be this bad. I think education is key. I think ignorance is bliss and what you don't know doesn't exist. But if you can show people what the truth is, then maybe they'll want to make a difference because what you can know can also help. The ocean is really important. The earth is 80% water, 72% ocean. We use a lot of stuff from the ocean as resources. We use it for recreation, we use it for sustenance. It's something beautiful to look at. And if we litter in the ocean or allow trash to continue to pour into this resource, not only is it an eyesore, but we could be hurting this, this resource that we use for sustenance as well as for recreation. Um, I think the most important thing that each individual person can do is to use less in your own daily life. Like use a reusable water bottle and bring Tupperware with you to your restaurant so you don't get takeout um, boxes, to pack your own lunches with Tupperware, and just to try to be more aware of what you're consuming in your own home and what plastic you're using. Um, and then and then whatever you do have to use, you can't cut it out entirely, but I think reuse it. So the, the whole reduce, reuse, then recycle thing is really fitting. <laughs>